Hyundai and Subaru have built their brands on different ideas of what constitute values. Who's right? Let's find out. Hells yeah. All versions of the Impreza come with full-time all-wheel drive, which means the Impreza is ready to tackle a tight corner or a tough snowstorm. Steering in the Subaru is really light, but the rest of the car is balanced fairly well, which kind of makes up for its lack of engagement from this wheel. You can get the Impreza in either a manual or a continuously variable automatic transmission. We have the latter. The CVT may sacrifice some of the joy of selecting your own gears, but there is a payoff, and that is fuel efficiency. During our testing, we averaged 29.1 miles per gallon. Now that's not too far off the Elantra that only averaged 30 miles per gallon. Then again, that engine makes 173 horsepower, which is 25 more than in this Impreza. And aside from the Hyundai only sending power to the front wheels, it also uses a six-speed automatic. From a styling point of view, the Elantra drops the mic and walks away from the Impreza. Subaru's compact hatch has never looked so boxy and it's blasé at best. The refresh for 2015 Hyundai Elantra sports a bold new grille, new 17-inch wheels as part of an extra cost package, and new paint colors. Now, I couldn't care less about that last point, but it doesn't change the fact that the Elantra is the better-looking car here. Be that as it may, the Subaru Impreza is 4.5 inches longer than the Hyundai. You might be tempted to think that will lead to much more interior space for the Subaru, but the difference isn't that big. But more on that later. Ride comfort is another area where the Hyundai outdoes the Subaru. It's not that these cars are really uncomfortable on the road, but the seats in the Subaru are a little flat in comparison to these nice buckets in the Hyundai. Now, it's not that these are segment leading seats, but it does enough to feel better than average. Now, outward visibility is a whole other story. Subaru has this part nailed. Thin A-pillars and door-mounted side mirrors make seeing out of the Subaru Impreza a breeze, way easier than the Elantra. Unfortunately, interior design is another spot where Subaru falls short. Meanwhile, Hyundai has its interior design on lock. It's got a fantastic layout. It's very ergonomic and the infotainment system is really easy to use. And personally, I find the styling in here great. Total cargo volume in the longer Impreza is about 3% better than found in the Elantra. Now, the reason that it's only slightly better is this is all-wheel drive and all that hardware has to go somewhere. That said, the backseat of the Impreza is one of the best in this segment, and we found enough legroom, headroom, and seat cushion comfort for almost any type of passenger, whereas the Elantra is a little lacking in some of those areas. Like we said earlier, Subaru and Hyundai have very different definitions of what value is. For Subaru, it's safety, fuel economy, and the ability to drive through any sort of weather. Subaru constantly ranks near the top during crash testing thanks to its body structure and crash avoidance technology. That's not to say the Elantra doesn't do well, but the Impreza just does better. Hyundai goes for a more traditional sense of value by offering the most features for the lowest price. Features like cooled seats and remote smartphone connectivity are a pretty big deal. And then there's other things like a panoramic sunroof and rear heated seats that Hyundai also offers. It really comes down to a battle of safety versus sex appeal. The Elantra really does offer you more for your money. Yeah, I'm a bit of a Subaru advocate, but I must agree that the Elantra does offer you more and takes the win here.